as far as India is concerned, I think the first and most important signal we need to send to the people of Bangladesh is that we stand with them, that there is no other vested interest that India has. We have interests, obviously, in a peaceful, prosperous Bangladesh, but we are with the people. We stand for uh, their right to determine their own political destiny and their own representatives. Mm -hmm. Having said that, we obviously have to be very much on alert. There are some disturbing reports coming, as you know, of attacks on on Hindu uh, uh, homes, temples, and individuals. Uh, one might hope this will calm down, especially because every sort of popular uprising is followed by some degree of anarchy. We all saw the pictures of looting, etc. yesterday. It may calm down and stabilize in a couple of days, in which case we don't have to worry. If it doesn't, then of course there is a risk even of refugees fleeing to our country, and that would be a matter of grave concern. Third, obviously, I'm sure that our High Commissioner and our staff there are safe and they're monitoring the situation closely, and I hope they're in touch with the new authorities as they emerge. We still don't know who is going to be in the interim government. Various names are being floated, but I think that's going to be an important contact. There are some understandable concerns in India about the increasing influence of the Jamaat-e-Islami, which has taken a very hostile attitude to India in the past, mm. and possible meddling by China and Pakistan, which have always seen Bangladesh as a potential um, soft underbelly of India that they could, they could uh, uh, fish in troubled waters in. And so, therefore, again, we have to be alert. We have to do our own thing. But I believe it would be a mistake uh, to take a hostile attitude to this change, even though we were strong supporters of the previous government, because it is not our business. Uh, and I don't think the Indian government will do that. And the Indian government will accept whatever new reality emerges, that's my impression, and that they would actually work uh, seriously with the uh, the new authorities, because peace and progress in Bangladesh is not only in the interests of the Bangladeshi people, it's also in our interests. We don't want an unstable or an unfriendly neighbor.